your appointment um, after your appointment to the board and, and what you've kind of what your observation and experience of the process has been. Um uh, I also would like to thank the board um, members who, who took the brave step of taking this journey. Um, my times, in, my years in the health sector, um, <laughs> whenever I talked about co-chair leadership, um, it, it, was, it was very problematic. It, it, it actually didn't go any further than my booking, <laughs> suggesting that we um, take their co-leader um, co-leader uh, journey. So, you know, um, acknowledging the, the past board members as well and, and the current ones for allowing us to, to progress and, and trust the process. Um, here in Whakatane, I, um, I'm actually on um, a, a board called Eastern Bay Villages and um, I've also um, <laughs> recommended the co-chair approach, which, which we now uh, are traveling. Um, and one of the biggest things for me is, is really about our relationships and um, through those relationships and discussions, uh, you know, people start to feel um, a, a lot more safer and, and trust about taking that journey. Um, I've always um, believed that without a relationship, very, very difficult um, to take this type of journey. I've also talked about this co-chair leadership with Plunkett. Um, that's about how far we've got at the moment. We're still having that conversation. Um, and that's because um, uh, as we uh, introduced the co-chair leadership to Social Link, it was, it was the timing of it. And, and people were ready to, to take that step. And particularly you, Tessa, um, when we talked and, and discussed and uh, things and shared things I I could tell that you were you were ready to to, to take that journey so thank you um, because it can be a very lonely road <laughs> as some of you will already know and um, so for me today is is you know it's helping to like getting a bit emotional because the intent of my being on the board was Kia ora koutou mel, uh, Anaru and uh, Wedemu because that was the intent was to um, to have have that representation on the board, and then I could come back home again, <laughs> back here <laughs> to uh, to Ngātia and in the east where I live. So I, I just want to say thank you, um, and I'm I'm really it's hard. Uh, so um, uh, thank you, Mel, for taking on uh, that responsibility as well. I remember you said to me, "Well, why are you ringing me?" <laughs> 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 I think Mel already knew what I was going to say anyway, um, but I'm, I'm so excited about that. So the co-chair treaty house permit model uh, gives a true, as, as written in the report, and uh, you all got a copy of that as well, but I um, gives a sense of working in true partnership as described uh, in the report. And as I've mentioned, trust and communication is critical to achieving equitable outcomes. And I acknowledge that it was Tessa, because of our relationship, um, that enabled that level of trust to be reached and to therefore gain full support from all the board members, Linda, Nigel, um, and all the others. Um, I, I just want to say thank you. It has been a privilege to serve on the Social Link Board. I, I wish you all the best as you strive to achieve your goals in reducing inequalities. And to you, um, Liz, we've had many conversations which, which is, uh, you know, which is how uh, I think trust happens. Uh, you don't hesitate to call uh, should you want to um, ask anything. My response usually uh, when, Tess start, when Tess rings me is, can you go and see the Karaua? <laughs> I always refer her back to, to, to Petty. Um, and, and then, of course, I do the same thing with Liz, depending on what she's asking me. Um, so thank you uh, for that. And, and as I've mentioned, it has been a privilege to serve on the Social Link Board. I wish you all the best as you strive to achieve your goals in reducing inequalities. Um, mihi anō tēnei. Uh, kia koutou. Uh, te mana whenua. Ngai tamarā maho.
Nga tira ngi nui. And as I mentioned that I think about Uncle Kihi and Uncle Morehu, because um, for myself, they were my backbone when I when I did work uh, at that time in Tauranga, and they were always there. And having people of that caliber and that um, behind you, um, it means a lot. So I want to acknowledge them at this moment. Um, so thank you to Mana Whenua, Ngai Tamarawa, Ho Ngachi Ranginui for the support which has strengthened the relationship with the local iwi and Māori providers. He mihi um, tēnei, kia koutou katoa. Uh, kia ora tata. Uh, kia ora. Thank you, Amo Heidi. Um, so for, from my perspective, to add to that, then um, it has been a huge, a huge honour and a blessing to be able to work with Amohari and then to get to know Paddy. So him and I catch up over lunch a few times a year mm. and um, that is part of the relationship development. Amohari has thrown me in the deep end on occasion and that, that's, that's really is the best way to learn. So she's either yes. said, go talk to the Koroa or, or you know, make sure he goes with you. And so that's how um, I know that I'm on the right path is that the right people are standing beside me keeping me safe in that process going to to see people so um Ngāti Ranganui, Mel you were the the first mm. that, uh, that uh, we we had an audience with if you like and started to get to know and um and then uh, Tamar was appointed as as the representative and now you have have come on um, into those the, the shoes as representing Ngāti Ranganui. Uh, we still have a way to go to engage and get to know, build relationships with uh, Ngāti Rangi and Ngāti Pūkenga. But um, the model that we have developed as an adaptation of the two house model is one where there's not only the equal membership in the two houses as such, there's also an additional three places always at the table for iwi, those three iwi should and when they wish to, to, uh, um, to take that seat, which means that we have a lot of flexibility uh, around the four Māori seats and four non-Māori seats uh, in that it can be a skills base so it's really about anyone who lives or works here who, who whakapapa's back um, as, as Māori uh, but still keeping those three additional seats so there's a total of seven seats for Māori and four for non-Māori in this model and um, they all have voting rights so although we can operate with, with less that option is always there and I think that we need to put that out there because uh, that is how uh, more equitable partnerships are achieved over time. And part of the reason for me accepting this, the challenge and, and wanting to help to drive it is because I firmly believe that um, the Te Ao Māori way of doing things is, a, is the right way to do things for the social sector. I think that the system that we currently operate in is broken. It's way too process oriented. And um, the, the more I get to journey in the bicultural with, with people from different cultures, particularly the Māori culture, the more connected I become to my own sense of self, to humanity as a whole and to Mother Earth. And to me, that, that's what is missing in this trajectory that we're currently on. And if you keep doing the same thing you've always done, you'll never get a different result. And so for me, it's time for to, to kind of pass over that leadership role for, for Māori to really have a strong voice, particularly within the social sector, because that is all about relationships. We know within the social work, uh, counselling, etc. if you don't have a relationship with the person who is on that journey of change, you're unlikely to reach a sustainable outcome. And so for me, that's what, what feeds me is that kind of end goal really, that it's better for everybody if we can really get um, a different way of working happening with, with much more priority around 
and balance. So you have got the process and the administrative side, but you have got the heart and the relationship, as as um, Nigel so aptly said, that Amahiri has held in this in this place. So it will be a, a lifelong learning. Um, I was because, so we had two house model from so Mel gave us one of the adaptations of the two house model, the one from Fakatane, but then we also had Amahiri was the front page cover of uh, Kaitiaki uh, Nursing back in 1996. And you know, she was talking that same corridor then. Uh, I'm sure we've got it that we can pass to you, but it, it actually explains the two house model right through to something which is called oh, a, a parallel. The parallel model, yeah. which is which is beyond biculturalism. So it's it's saying that there is this overlap, which is biculturalism, but there's also that autonomy that uh, can be given in this decision making, uh, honouring the different cultures people bring. So it's really just a strength based approach in a, a social work term that everyone brings the strengths which include <laughs> the culture that they come from. And um, just to acknowledge Soy as well at this time, because I'm not, not sure if she's on or not. But um, yeah, Soy is of uh, Tongan descent, and so she brings another aspect again to the board. So, thank you. So, all trustees, past and present, thank you for your wisdom and willingness to share. I've learned from everybody, I've learned through this journey. It's been seven years for me, so I'm really ready to. to to kind of move on and watch uh, with excitement what happens next. <laughs> yeah, and encourage everybody to go on this cultural journey regardless, you know, through things like cultural connections, through Tauranga City Council, whatever you can do that learns the history, sit with Perry, go through the social link um, sessions that uh, Perry runs up at Huria Marae to learn about place, the importance of place. Uh, the importance of knowing the history, knowing the backstory of people where they reach the position that they are now. It's really important. So, and to Amahaidi, I have a huge